Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at solving linear inequalities. So if you've completed the previous videos on solving linear equations, today's lesson will be a lot easier for you. So for which x does the equality hold? We've seen that. We have 2x plus 3 equals 5x minus 1. We've seen that. We know how to solve that. What we're going to do today is for which x does the inequality hold? Like that. So it's not an equality, it's an inequality. And you can have multiple solutions. In fact, most of the time you will. Zero is not a solution because if you plug it in, you get negative one, which is not greater than four. So a zero is not a solution. Let's try four, x equals four. If we plug that in, we get two times four, eight, minus one, seven. Seven is greater than four. So x equals four is a solution. Let's try x equals eight. Plug that in, we get 16 minus 1 gives 15, which is greater than 4. So we can see that there's going to be multiple solutions. Now what we're going to do today is find those solutions to an inequality. So we're going to start uh, looking at some algebra here. So let's see about addition. So 6 is less than 9. We go plus 2 to both sides. 8 is less than 11, so the inequality is preserved when we add to both sides. And I'm using examples to demonstrate that. It's not a proof, it's just an example. So subtraction, we go minus 1 to both sides, so we get 5 less than 8 like that, which is good, so the inequality is preserved. Multiplication, positive, so if we go times 2 to both sides, we get 12 less than 18, that's good, there you go. What if we multiply by a negative number? So we're going to go times negative 2 to both sides. Here we get negative 12 is bigger than negative 18. So the inequality is not preserved. The direction of the inequality is reversed. So you see here 6 less than 9 becomes negative 12 greater than negative 18. Okay, what about division? 6 is less than 9. So we go divide by 3 on both sides. 2 is less than 3. We're good. The inequality is preserved. What about division with a negative? So we go divide by negative 3 to both sides. And so we have negative 2 and negative 3. Negative 2 is bigger, so the inequality is changed. The, the direction of the inequality is reversed. So the inequality is not preserved. So here's our sum up. The inequality is to be reversed when multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So that's basically it. If you remember that, the rest of the, the rest of the solving, uh, the rest of the algebra is pretty easy. So let's do some examples, lots of examples. Example one, solve the following inequalities. So we have x minus three greater than four. So what we're gonna do is the same thing as before. We're gonna get rid of this negative three. We're gonna go plus three to both sides. What's remaining is x greater than seven. And so that's the solution to this inequality. You plug in an x greater than seven and it will be true. So we're gonna check it. Let's check it with eight. Eight is greater than seven, right? So it should be good. We plug in eight. Eight minus three gives five, which is greater than four, so we're good. Let's check it with x equals 9, just to be sure. So you plug in 9, so you get 9 minus 3 gives 6, which is greater than 4, so we're good, like that. Okay, b. 1 minus x is less than 3, so we're going to get rid of this 1 here, so minus 1 to both sides, so negative x is less than 2. We're going to go divide by negative 1 on both sides, so we get x greater than negative 2. So pay attention here, the direction of the inequality has been reversed, right? Less than became greater than. And so this is the beauty of checking your answers, is that maybe you'll forget to reverse the inequality, but when you check, you say, oh, something's not working. Maybe I did a mistake in my algebra. So this is the value in checking your answers. So greater than negative 2. Let's pl try negative 1. Plug in negative 1 here. 1 minus negative 1 gives 2, which is less than 3, so we're good. Let's try another one. 0, 0 is greater than negative 2. So we plug in 0. 1 minus 0 gives 1, which is less than 3, so we're good. C. 4x minus 2 less or equal to 6. 
get rid of this 2 here, plus 2 to both sides, 4x less or equal to 8. Divide by 4 on both sides, x less or equal to 2. So we're allowed to be equal to 2, so let's check that. Plug in 2, we get 8 minus 2, 6, which is less or equal to 6, so we're good. x equals 1, let's plug that in. So we get 4 minus 2, 2, which is less or equal to 6, so we're good. Okay, D, example D. 6x plus 1 greater or equal to 4x minus 7, like that. So we're going to go minus 1 to both sides, 6x greater or equal to 4x minus 8. Minus 4x to both sides, so 2x greater or equal to negative 8. Divide by 2 on both sides, so x is greater or equal to negative 4. And so we're going to check it. x equals negative 4. When we plug in on the left-hand side, we get negative 23. When we plug in negative 4 to the right hand side, we also get negative 23. So negative 23 is greater or equal to 23. So this answer is good. And what about 0? When we plug in 0 into here, we get 1. Plug in 0 onto the right, we get negative 7. And so 1 is greater or equal to negative 7. So this solution is also correct. So you don't have to keep checking your answers all the time. I recommend it when you're doing a test, for example, just to make sure that you did it right. So E, negative 3 over 5x. So we're going to go times reciprocal to both sides. So negative 5 over 3 like that. And we're going to reverse the direction, right? So direction has been changed. And so we have x less or equal to negative 10 over 3. Okay, F. So here we have x over 3 plus 1 half less than 1 over 6. So we're going to go times 6 to both sides, get rid of those fractions. It gives us 2x plus 3 less than 1. Minus 3 to both sides, 2x less than negative 2. Divide by 2 on both sides, x is less than negative 1. Okay, time for some beautiful practice problems. So go ahead and pause the video and solve the following inequalities. Okay, we're back. x minus 4 less than 9. Plus 4 to both sides, x is less than 13. So here we have one get rid of that x. So we go minus 3 to both sides. Sorry, one get rid of the 3. So minus 3 to both sides, so we get negative x less or equal to 1. Divide by negative 1 to both sides, change the direction of the inequality. x is greater or equal to negative 1. C, 3x plus 1 less or equal to 19. Get rid of the 1 here, so minus 1 to both sides, 3x less or equal to 18. Divide by 3 to both sides, x is less or equal to 6. D. Negative 6x plus 2 greater or equal to 2x minus 4. Get rid of this 2 here, so minus 2 to both sides. Get rid of this 2x, so minus 2x on both sides. So we have negative 8x greater or equal to negative 6. Divide by negative 8 on both sides, so we change the direction of the inequality. And so this becomes x less or equal to 3 over 4. Okay, E. Uh, so we have 5, 3, 3, 5. So we're going to go times 15 to both sides. So this comes to 6x minus 20 less or equal to 5x plus 6. Minus, uh, plus 20 to both sides and minus 5x to both sides. So we get x less or equal to 26. F. Distribute here, so 6x minus 2, greater than 12 minus 3x, like that. Plus 2 to both sides, so we get uh, 6x here. We have a minus 3x, so we're going to go plus 3x to both sides, so we get 9x greater than 14, like that. Divide by 9 on both sides, x is greater than 14 over 9. G. We have some decimals here, so we're going to go times 100 to both sides. This gives us 6x plus 1 less or equal to 4x minus 8. Minus 1 to both sides and minus 4x to both sides, so we get 2x less or equal to negative 9. 
divide by 2 on both sides, S is, x is less or equal to negative 9 over 2. Okay, a couple of comments here. Example number two, solve the following inequalities. So you might run into an inequality like this. X is less than X plus three. So just looking at it, you can tell, look, this number is less than if you add three to it. Well, that's always true, right? And so if we go minus X to both sides, we get zero less than three. What this means is no matter what number you plug in, you will always be able to reduce it to zero less than three which is true. So in other words, whatever I plug in gives me a true statement. So all the real numbers are solutions to this inequality. B. X is greater than if you go to plus 3 of that number. Well, that's false, right? If you take 7, that's going to be uh, less than 10, right? So this is false. So if you go minus X to both sides, you get 0 greater than 3, which is false. So no matter what x you plug in, it reduces to a false statement. And so in other words, you can't plug in anything. There's no solutions to this inequality. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.